Hi there, I'm Dale Mathis, and today I am coming to you from the Crown Music Showroom in Sun City, Arizona, and the accordion that I'm holding is the Roland FR1X, and I am going to show you today the instructions for first-time users about how to get around with the Dale Mathis programming. So we're looking at the little FR1X, and let's just bring you in here a little closer. This instrument is available in red, like I'm holding, or black. It's a 26 key instrument. They are full-size accordion keys. The bass buttons, there are 72 buttons. So uh, it has the diminished row, the seventh row, the minor row, the major row, the fundamental bass row, and the counter bass. So someone who is used to playing a larger accordion will feel quite at home on this instrument, especially for folks who are looking for something that is very lightweight. This unit only weighs 14.6 pounds. And underneath on the bottom side here, we do have jacks on it so that you can, whoops, get to the right side here, um, so that you can plug in headphones and you can plug it into an amplifier. And uh, the accordion does have bellow straps on it. And now the Dale Mathis programming, the 1X programming, is loaded into this accordion. And so what that entails, when you turn the accordion on, here's the power switch here. And give it a second to get loaded. All right, so in my screen up on top, um, I know you're not going to be able to see this, but it says 222. Two, two. And what that means is the bass buttons, the uh, chord buttons, and the treble buttons, that last two. So that last number two, if I hit register number one, that is going to shift to a number one. If I hit it uh, to, say, register number three, that last button is going to shift to number three. And all of the buttons on the 1X have four functions. So uh, just to, now I've just turned this instrument on and now you're listening to factory sounds. So I'm going to hit uh, the register number one and I'm going to hit it another time. I'm going to hit it a third time, and I'm going to hit it a fourth time. So every one of these buttons has four sounds on it, except for the last one. That just has two sounds on it. And these are all accordion sounds now. If I touch the orchestra button down here, now you're going to hear a choir sound, string sound. Okay, so there are just two sounds for the orchestra. Trumpet, trombone, 3A, has a flute, 3B, has a saxophone, 4A, has a piano, and 4B as a guitar. Okay, now to find different sounds for the bass side, uh, there are three buttons here, but the three buttons can have more than one sound. And again, we've just turned this instrument on. This is not the Dale Mathis programming yet. So uh, just by turning it on, if I hit the uh, third button, I'm going to hit the third button again. So you hear it has another sound. If I hit the first button, hit it again, hit it again, hit the middle button, hit it again. So they have multiple sounds on them. Now I'm going to touch the orchestra bass button over here. It says left hand. And when I touch that, now these buttons can be used to change the orchestral bass sound. 
So when it's first turned on, you get the string bass. When I hit that middle button again, the string bass, counter bass, organ, ham and organ bass, hit it again and you just get the string bass, hit number one, string bass, number two. So it goes back and forth between those two sounds. The third button, tuba, another tuba, and, and a, um, uh, what is that one called again? Uh, it's a bass guitar variation, or, or the jazz bass. Okay, so that is the primary or preliminary sounds when you turn the instrument on. Now, I've made things easier because, and I'm just going to turn this instrument off again. So, power down. And it's running on batteries right now. The batteries, the batteries in this accordion are eight rechargeable double A cell batteries. So do not use uh, lithium batteries. Use only rechargeable batteries because they have a lower voltage. They have 1.2 volts where traditional uh, lithium batteries have 1.5 volts. And you don't want to be running that in this accordion. So 1.2 volts. All right, so now we're going to flip this accordion on again. So here's the power button. And so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to use the Dale Mathis User Program button. There are four buttons here, and in those four buttons, each one has two sounds when you use User Program. So I'm going to hit the User Program light, and in the screen up here, it just says U dash dash. So it's asking me, which user program do you want to play? And I'm just going to hit number one. And when I hit that, it says 1A up here. And so I get this sound. So it's like a bassoon accordion. And automatically, it set up the string bass and the guitar over in the left-hand side. If I hit that register number one again, it changed the sound to a little bit of a musette sound. Just slight, uh, or bandonian. And up in the little screen up here, it says user 1B. So now I'm going to hit register number 2, and it says 2A up in the screen here. So we get a little Italian accordion. I'm going to hit it again. We get the French musette, and it's set at the 16-foot level, or the deep level. I'm going to hit number three. There's our master. Now, automatically, the clarinet orchestra came up. Hit the number three again. Clarinet. Accordion. On number four, the saxophone. Hit number four again, I'll get the organ. Oh, no, that's not what I have there. I have the mandolin. Switch to accordion. Go back 
to the clarinet. So using the user program button, the Dale Mathis settings that I have already uh, loaded in here for you, it makes it very easy to find sounds and you don't have to be figuring out push this six times and push that and all this other stuff. It just makes it a whole lot easier to use those basic user programs. Okay, I'm back with you. The next thing that we want to discuss is using the uh, user set that's programmed by Dale Mathis. So to do that, I'm again going to start from the beginning. So I'm going to power up the accordion by hitting the power button. And then it says in the screen 222. Two, two. And then there is a blue button here that says set. And down and the number four button, it says user. And so uh, this is a rather quick operation. You push the set button. And then immediately after you let go of the set button, you push the number four. And in your screen, it's going to say U1. So here we go. So push set and then U1. And so now it just uh, uh, flashed U1 real quickly. And how I can tell that I've got the user program 1 on is if you hit register number 4. get all of those real rich tones from the user 4 after you have done this process you know that you're in the right place if you're in the traditional uh, Roland settings uh, this very high squeaky sounds there but in the Dale Mathis program you get all these nice rich tones there <laughs> and then uh, in the orchestra uh, bass and chord, when you hit the bass button here, you get the string bass, and that is all programmed for you. And if you hit the chord button, and this is, uh, I, I did unique programming on here. There are even functions that uh, are not available on the 1x editor, but I've managed to get these sounds in here, so it's pretty cool. Um, you hit the chord button. It comes on as the strings, but what I suggest you might like the uh, nice tone is by just hitting register number three, and it gives you the saxophone. So some really nice sounds that I have loaded into that user set. So I hope that this uh, wasn't too confusing, but uh, actually now that you have the video, you can just watch the video a hundred times until you get it. Because looking at the manual, that is really confusing. Um, but if you follow these instructions a few more times, uh, for what I have written out for you. Plus, I'm going to create a PDF file for my uh, 1X customers also so that you have a better idea of where all these sounds are located. So thank you so much for watching this. If you would like your own Roland FR1X digital accordion from Crown Music with the Dale Mathis programming, you got to give Donna Thomas a phone call. Here's her phone number. And uh, we are in Sun City, Arizona. So keep that in mind if you're calling from, I don't know where, <laughs> about the time zones. And uh, at the mycrownmusic.net website, you will find a lot of helpful information about the role in according, including this video. I will get that up there uh, in a few days. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again next time.